Just give me a reason to keep my heart beating Don't worry, it's safe right here in my arms As the world falls apart around us All we can do is hold on, hold on Hello everyone, this is DT Ninja, here to bring you my Bleach Chapter 602 discussion. Uh, yeah guys, this chapter is called Bane Licking Good. Obviously, it's about asking Naklavar, you know, the, you know, the, one of the most, um, anticipated Stern Ritters I've been wanting to see is Power. Uh, it's really great to see, you know, what he can do. Uh, Kubo... Uh, kind of disappointed me though, you know, okay, we get this great explanation of what, uh, you know, is a lethal dose, okay, his his power is like lethal dose, he should be Sterner to L, like the lethal dose, but, you know, D is the death dealing, so I guess, you know, he can control how someone dies, you know, he can control uh, something like blood, so he can drop your blood, you know, content to a, a lethal dose. And I thought that was interesting, you know? And, but the thing is, Kubo, uh, I don't know, He what he did was he made it so that Askin would, you know, explain uh, what his ability was. And he's like, you know, Oetsu's really confused, you know? Uh, he, takes, he takes his blood and he, he drinks uh, his blood, you know? Askin drinks the blood and, you know, Oetsu drops like a fly. Okay, when I saw this the first time, I was like, okay... How does he drop by drinking uh, his own blood? And I'm like, is wait, is that Oetsu's blood? And where did he get it from? Uh, so that was a bit confusing to me. But the thing is, um, I guess he can control the, the content of blood and uh, control it so uh, he can lower it so it's a lethal dose. And that's why Oetsu dropped, okay? So he's losing blood and... The thing is, what happened is he told him, he told him, you know, I'm, I'm not to be under, you know, you've underestimated me. I'm not just this, this, this downer. I'm, I'm someone, you know, that, that's one of the best qualities about me. I don't show who I am, you know, until now. I'm the best, you know, I'm not in, in the back just just as, you know, trying to be with the elites. I am the best. He basically says, I'm the best. And, you know, prepare for death, Oetsu. You know, prepare for death, you know. And he's like, you know, I didn't get it at first it either. You know, I didn't get it at first either. But, uh, you know, I'm going to explain it to you. And he explains it to him, okay. He explains his technique to his enemy, okay. Why would you do this? What, tell me why... What could you possibly gain from doing this? Does he believe Oetsu was dead? I mean, obviously he knew he wasn't dead. He, I guess what he thought was, Oetsu's down, he's not going to get up for a while, so why not just lecture him, okay? Why not just tell him why he's lying on the ground? Um... Just, you know, that was really arrogant of Askin. Uh, he was talking way too much, okay? Um, I liked some of his speech because what he said was true. But then, you know, Oetsu's like, thanks for the explanation, you know? And all of a sudden, Karinji shows up with Tenjiro and he replenishes the blood that, uh, you know, he lost uh, before. So, Oetsu's back to normal. And then all of a sudden... He just cuts Askin, you know, he just cuts Askin, he, he rushes at Askin, and, you know, he, he has the, you know, the sword pointing, uh, you know, at, in this angle. And when I saw this, it reminded me of uh, Obito, okay, because I saw some people on Facebook, they were saying, oh, this looks like Toby Rama and Uzuna, you know, the, the, where he, he cut him. No, 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 no. This is a popular... Uh, perspective. It's it's not copying off anyone. This is just, you know, a perspective of him dashing. But when I saw it, I was like, yo, that looks like Obito, okay? When Obito first gets his Shining Gun, okay? 
uh, you know, he activates it. But the guy is like in chameleon. He's like a chameleon, okay? That rock ninja. He's like a chameleon because you, you can't see him. But Obito somehow sees him with his shonen gun. And remember, he has the kunai out. And he's in that same perspective, guys. He's in that same perspective. And I was like, yo, that, that just looks like Obito right there. And I mean, yeah. And Askin's like, oh, I underestimated you. And then afterwards, you know, his neck just you know, like gushes out blood. And, you know, he drops to the ground. I'm like, what? Askin? Like, really? Like, come on. Um, I was expecting more of a counterattack. I mean... I don't know, you know? Just making making Oetsu drop like a fly, and then the very opposite thing happens, you know? He tells him his technique, and then he gets slashed, you know? I don't know. I wish it was more of something of more of a con... I wish there was more of a counterattack, but that's just me. Um, I like the Juha part at the end, you know? He's like, come at me, Juha, you know? It's your turn. And then he raises his hands, but the thing is, there's something emitting from his hands. I'm wondering if it's the power he's about to unleash, if he's going to uh, activate, you know, the squad's, uh, you know, his his elite squad's uh, uh, Volden stick. Because we haven't seen their Volden stick, and we know that the other Stern Raiders have shown them. And if the elites don't have Volden stakes, there's something wrong. You know, because these are the elites. I mean, th they should be more powerful than anyone we've seen this far. Um, you know, Baz B is one of the... I believe Baz B is one of the elites because he's the first person that killed someone. You know, that was that's how the, the war was introduced, you know. We saw this huge blazing flame coming in and you know, I mean, it was I think it was Ki Kiru, Ki, was it was it Kira, Kira? He was blasted in in you know, that was just crazy. That was that was crazy. But anyway, um yeah. Let's let's uh get to my discussion. Do you guys think that uh, Juha is going to fight next week, or do you think that uh, he's going to activate, uh, you know, a, a, a technique that makes the, his squad rise again, and we see more counterattack? I want to see more of a counterattack from the Quincy side, from the Sternritter side, because right now it's the Oetsu show, and it's okay. I, I liked Oetsu's character, but the fact that he's been all. He's been he's been in the spotlight so much. I want to see more uh, from other people. Uh, maybe that's just me, uh, but yeah. And if Juha does fight, uh, you know Oetsu's probably going down. I mean this 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 guy Juha has so much power in him. I don't know how Oetsu can even. I don't know. Like it'll be a good fight, I think, but. Honestly, I think that he's going to be able to uh, probably release the Volden Steg and the other, uh, his other guards are going to rise again. Maybe the Miracle even, you know, I don't know, he might be seriously injured, but at least the X-Axis, you know, his arm is gone, but I think that he's got more fight in him. The Compulsory, we didn't even see what, what she can do, so yeah, I believe that we're going to see more from them. Askin, also, I don't think he's dead. Uh, so that's my feeling on this chapter for Bleach. It wasn't that great. Uh, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't It wasn't there. Okay, uh, I was disappointed. I wanted to see Askin at his best. You know, he said he was the best, and then he dropped like a fly. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's been my Bleach discussion. Um, so... Do you guys feel that Juha is going to fight, or is it going to be a counterattack for the Stern Ridders? Uh, yep, that's pretty much my discussion question for this week, and I will be doing a poem and color scan for this chapter. Uh, look for my uh, review on Facebook on my DT Ninja 831 page. You can look it up, DT Ninja 831. My 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 homepage for Facebook is uh, that's my homepage for Facebook, and obviously uh, I will be uploading it on uh, this uh, channel as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed my discussion and. As always, have a great day.